Hey guys, it's Ragnarok here again. Today I'm going to show you uh, how the Demonology Warlock rotation seems to be working. Um, very different to the old Legion one. Much less clunky as we don't have to worry about life tap or buffing our demons anymore. We just sort of summon them as fast as we can. Alright, so basically we still have the Dreadstalkers. They're usually the first things we start off with. And we keep an eye on our soul shards up here. Felgar goes in, and at three soul shards, we usually do Hand of Gul'dan. Get another three with Shadow Bolts. Hand of Gul'dan again. And see now we're getting Demonic Core Procs. They pop up when your um, demons expire, basically. Um, the Dreadstalkers have a 100% chance, whereas the uh, Imps, they only have a 10% chance. So basically, we spend those... Uh, procs as soon as possible without us going over the uh, the soul shard cap. So try and keep it at three so you can spend and keep the dreadstalkers going off cooldown as well. And sometimes uh, if you've talent into it you'll get a proc like that and it becomes an instant cast and it doesn't cost any soul shard which makes it a lot easier to keep the Dreadstalkers out, and also when they expire, you basically just get more demonic procs, which is really good for your demon bolt spamming. Demon bolts generate two soul shards, so it's a really good way to get demons out quickly. Now, basically, what we're going to do now is after we've got a lot of demons out, you want to cast your uh, demonic tyrant. So I'll pass that after the next Dreadstalkers, spend these Soul Shards, and here we go, we'll summon him out now. So basically all the demons that are out now will be extended by another 15 seconds, so they'll be out much longer than what they normally are. So you can end up having four Dreadstalkers out at once, instead of the, just the two, which is pretty cool. And look how many Imps we've got around here, there's a lot. So. And he also buffs the damage of the new demons you summon, not just the uh, existing ones as well, so that's really handy as well. And as soon as the demonic tyrant expires, I think he expires after 15 seconds, and all the old demons that should have expired previously then expire as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the rotation. Um, demonic tyrant's pretty much your number one cooldown. The other cooldowns are usually just talents. Um, if you want to AoE, um, it's a bit different. We basically don't worry about Dreadstalker so much unless you've talented into this. So uh, basically that just makes your Dreadstalker's AoE. But we're going to pretend that you don't even have that. We're just going to use the Imps and we're going to use our Implosion. So the way Implosion works it has an 8 yard radius on, from the target you're currently attacking. So try and find the centermost target and send all your imps in like this. Spam implosion a couple of times like that. And there you go, and there's your AoE. Implosion's baseline right now, so um, you don't have to worry about talenting into it. But that could change by the time this goes live. I um, wouldn't be a favorite. But yeah, that's pretty much your single target and AoE. Last thing I'll show you is the uh, talents I chose real quick. So, pretty much the left column here. It's pretty much your passive go-to. Buffs your Dreadstalk as well. This makes them AoE. Um, this makes them basically take 20% more Shadow Flame damage. This is the one that gives that instant cast proc. And then we also got inner demons just for extra imps and that random additional demon that sometimes pops out. And then we got sacrifice souls, basically just buffs your um your shadow bolt and demon bolt damage just by spending soul shards. So um yeah, you're gonna be using shadow bolt and demon bolt a lot anyway, so why not get a free buff for them? You can also get demonic consumption. Um, I've seen a few Demonology Warlocks use this, it does do a lot of damage. Basically we're going to get as many imps out as you can and then use this. 
Um, and then you got the nether portal and that just summons in tons and tons of demons. It's got a huge cooldown though and it's expensive. It's three soul shards and uh, almost a two and a half second cast. Mind you my haste is really low right now because I only just hit 120. So um, not my gear's really low. I've gotten some blues but a lot of it doesn't even have haste on it so my stats are terrible. So pay no attention to the bad numbers there. But uh, once you get up to 20-30% haste then yeah. Be pumping out demons like crazy. Anyways, thanks for that, guys.